that will do. Hi guys, good morning. It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to another vlog. I just did my hair and I have to say it's looking really good. I just got a haircut and I'm about to do my makeup. I'm just getting ready, but the reason I wanted to vlog is actually because I'm hosting a little wine night tomorrow night and so I need to prepare for hosting. I need to go grocery shopping, clean my house, and I thought I would share how I prepare appetizers and charcuterie for friends that are vegan because I think two of us are gluten-free, but you know, it's a group of six vegans. <laughs> What do you do when there's no meat and cheese? I got you, I've done this many times and um, yeah, it'll be really fun. I've seriously been looking forward to it all week, but now I'm just gonna finish getting ready and I'm using some products by Osea today because they are the sponsor of today's video and I couldn't be more excited. I'm such a huge fan of their brand. Everything is vegan, cruelty-free, climate neutral, and California made. So this is their Seabiotic Water Cream and I'm just gonna apply that before any of my makeup to prep my skin and I love this. It makes my skin feel very plump and it's also fragrance free which is key for me. But I also am a huge fan of Osea's shower and body products. This is their Andaria Seaweed Body Polish and this seriously keeps my skin feeling so smooth and soft and hydrated, but it also smells like the spa. It is a true aromatherapeutic experience. This is self-care. If you need to relax, if you have a friend that needs to relax, this is an absolute must. It is truly one of my favorite products I have discovered this year. And then when I get out of the shower, I love moisturizing with their body oil that is infused with the same Andaria seaweed. And this seriously locks in moisture like no other. I have super dry skin and I've honestly never tried a body oil that I've liked, but this one is rich but not greasy. It leaves my skin feeling moisturized so much longer than lotion. You can see just that amazing natural glow that it leaves my body. I love it. If you're interested in trying out any products from Osea, you can get 10% off with my link in the description box or use my code on the screen. Now I'm going to finish up my makeup and then we can make a latte together. Makeup is done. I did a very light look because I currently have an ingrown eyelash on my eye, so I can't really wear eye makeup, but I have been loving Rare Beauty lately. I use their highlight and their blush and their lip gloss is so good. I'm gonna put that on. I just posted a styling video and so I think I'm gonna wear something that I wore in that video. It is this beautiful crocheted dress from Cezanne. Here is the dress on. It is a little bit longer than knee length and I just love wearing this in a more casual way. I styled it kind of like in a, in a fancier way but then also in this more casual way in the video. The shoes, which I'm gonna put on after I make my latte. I am making a quick grocery list of what I need for tomorrow night split up into the different things I'm making. So I am making a charcuterie board. That's a must for any wine night. Then I'm also going to do hummus and like olives and crackers which you know can also go in between the charcuterie board they kind of go hand in hand and then lastly i'm going to make some homemade bruschetta because that has to be one of my favorite things non-alcoholic spritzes or beverages because i i don't think i've like shared what my favorite ones are but i thought that would be fun to include in this video because i don't drink and so i do like to drink something when i have these cute evenings and so i thought i would share some of my favorite really tasty beverages that um, still feel really fun and festive. Just to run through this, for the charcuterie board, I am going to get two different vegan cheeses. I'll usually do one that's a block and then one that's spreadable just to make the placement look kind of interesting. And then I like to get fruit, so I'll either get grapes or an apple, just depending on how the fruit looks today. And then I also love getting either candied pecans or the rosemary almonds that they have at Trader Joe's. 
so good you can just snack on them forever then for the hummus i usually make it from scratch but i'm just gonna buy some delicious ithaca hummus today because i don't have the energy along with some mixed olives at the whole foods like olives bar and then for the bruschetta i need tomatoes and basil but i already have really nice olive oil and balsamic vinegar and garlic and that's pretty much it. It's very simple, but so good. But I do want to get a gluten-free baguette if I have the time because they have those at some health food stores, not all of them, but they're so good. We are going to do a quick Air One haul because I ended up going there for the vegan cheese because their selection is just very big. So I got the nuts for cheese, unbelievable <laughs> vegan brie. I love this. It's so good. And this was $9.00. And then I got the Misha's black truffle vegan cheese. This one comes in a tub and you really do get quite a lot for what you pay for. This one I believe was 11, which is crazy, but I know that my friends really love and appreciate good vegan cheese, so it's worth it. And then I got lunch because I try not to go to Erwan for anything other than lunch, uh, just because it's so expensive but I love their vegan taco salad and I also love their vegan Caesar salad. And I don't really like waiting in the line that they have for the hot bar. It just stresses me out. So I typically will get something pre-made, but this has such goodness in there. You can really see it is like packed. It's perfect, delicious. Here is everything that I just got from Whole Foods. I always try to find what's on sale. So my favorite Simple Mills crackers were on sale. So I got two boxes and then also some Mary's Gone crackers because I love these with vegan cheese. They are so crunchy. This is my current favorite hummus brand. I also love their lemon dill, but they're all super fresh and have no preservatives. These are the mixed olives I got from the olive bar, but I also got some pitted olives. These are for pasta salad because I've been on a pasta salad kick. Same with grape tomatoes and some of the herbs, but these are the tomatoes that I bought to make bruschetta. So I'm gonna do that in a little bit. It is now 6 p.m. and I'm about to make dinner as well as prep the bruschetta for tomorrow because it really is the best when it's marinated overnight, especially if you don't love tomatoes. Marinated tomatoes are very different and it really breaks down a lot of that tomatoiness, if you know what I mean. Um, bruschetta is one of those things that like got me into liking tomatoes. I used to hate tomatoes, now I love them. But before we get into that, I thought I would share my favorite non-alcoholic canned beverages because I am gonna drink one right now because that is like my favorite time of day to drink a beverage. 6 p.m. when you're cooking dinner, it's just, the best. But I feel like it goes without saying that kombucha is always my number one. I probably drink like three or four kombuchas a week. It's just like a part of my daily routine. But these are ones that I kind of reserve for the evening for some reason or like going to a friend's house. I don't know, okay? This is the Trader Joe's Organic Sparkling Ginger and Lemon Apple Cider Vinegar Beverage. And this is basically sparkling water with ginger and lemon as well as apple cider vinegar. And to me, it just tastes like a very light kombucha. So I love it. Um, if you like kombucha, you would also probably like this. And it's very soothing to the stomach as well. Like if you have a stomach ache, you can also drink this. The Health Aid Pops. And my favorite is the ginger. No one is shocked by that. I also am a huge fan of poppy sodas as well as Olipop. I pretty much always get the ginger flavor. I believe it's ginger and lime in any of those. I love them. This one is very similar. It's like a kombucha and soda had a child and it's just delicious. So I think this is the one I'm gonna drink tonight. Just sounds really good to me. I've also tried a lot of non-alcoholic aperitifs and they tend to be a little bit pricier and they're very small but very strong in flavor. So you can even mix this with some sparkling water to make it less intense. But the Gia Chia Ginger, is another one of my favorites. This one, it's kind of like a strawberry ginger 
to me is what it tastes like. I don't love their other flavor as much. And then I also recently tried the De Soie. This flavor is golden hour and it's very like bright and lemony maca and L-theanine and green tea and so good, but again, very strong. So these you honestly could split 50-50 with a soda to like really get your money's worth because I want to say each of these are like five bucks. Um, whereas like these are like 150. Um, so yeah, those are some different fun beverages I've been drinking. I also am a huge longtime fan of ginger beer. Any brand will do so good, especially with a squeeze of lime. I've been drinking that for like years. And then most recently I got this bottle of Proxies from Acid League. And this is a non-alcoholic fruit forward floral rosé. Honestly, the packaging is what got me. I just thought this, this was beautiful. It even has a wax seal. So I am thinking we're gonna try this tomorrow night. This flavor is strawberry, rhubarb, hibiscus, lemon verbena, silver needle white tea. That sounds so good. So I'll let you guys know what I think about this tomorrow. Very intrigued. I am finally learning from my lesson about cutting tomatoes and wearing white and I put on my cute little apron. I'm thinking for dinner of just doing like a roasted vegetable pasta. I've been craving this non-dairy vodka sauce from Primal Kitchen. It's so good. It tastes like my childhood for some reason. I don't know, I can't explain it. But for the bruschetta recipe, I will leave the recipe in the description box. I kind of just go off taste because I've made it a few times and it's very simple. So much tomatoes and then you drain them. Helps release the juices. I'm adding the garlic. Then I'm adding olive oil and balsamic vinegar, but tomorrow I'm going to add the basil because I want it to be fresher. It is the next day and I'm currently parked outside of Sprouts because I'm about to grab some baguettes for the bruschetta tonight because I wasn't able to yesterday and I've just been on my computer working all day. It is 3 p.m. and I just needed to get out of the house and then just coming straight home. I really just I go to the health food store whenever I am bored, sad, anxious, need a change of scenery. They're great. So this is Sprouts. Uh, it's very similar to Whole Foods, I would say, but maybe a little bit more like family owned. It is now almost six, and that means my friends are coming over in about an hour and a half to two hours. But I got the baguette, successful gluten-free baguette. It's the best. And now I'm going to prep everything from the charcuterie boards to the bruschetta and then just put it all in the fridge. But you don't want to do it too early, but you also don't want to do it too late. It's kind of, you know, one of those things. So we have like an hour and a half and I feel like that's perfect. I also wanted to like tidy a little bit just so it doesn't look too messy. These are my best friends, but you know, it could be, it could be less messy. This is everything that is going on my larger charcuterie board. This board is from Target and this is obviously where the cheese and crackers are going. And then I ended up getting apples, not grapes, but it's fine. We have a lot of food. And then this smaller board is from Goodies LA and I love it. It has like an irregular shape. And this is obviously going to be my hummus and pita board. And I already pre-cut these carrots yesterday just to speed this up. And I don't know where the bruschetta is going yet, but that I will figure out next. We just went for a walk, but that clearly wasn't enough. 
Because she has the zoomies now. <laughs> She's just the cutest. She's gonna be so happy when everyone shows up. She's just the sweetest to all of them. I just toasted these for three minutes on each side and they are looking perfect. She's stuck in there. Ugh. Yay! Hey, <laughs> cheers! This is Nikita. Hello. <laughs> and we are trying the proxies. It looks beautiful. Whoa. That's not really what I expected. No, I thought it was gonna be more kombucha, like Yeah, you said it fizzy. It's um it's like it's very light. Yeah. I, I it like tastes it. like um, a strawberry it lemonade, else. don't you think? A little bit of spiciness from the yeah. Szechuan peppercorn. <laughs> it's not bad, not bad. I would drink that.